Top health officials with the CDC are now urging people to get their flu vaccine as well. The CDC recommends getting the vaccine by the end of October and is also urging people to get vaccinated from the coronavirus at the same time because you can catch both viruses. Oh gosh, that's the last thing you want, which could be a dangerous combination. They're going to be more likely to require hospitalization and may even need an ICU level of care, potentially with a ventilator. Moderna is working on creating one vaccine that fights both COVID-19 and the flu. Moderna hopes its single dose vaccine will be ready and available by the fall. Meanwhile, the company has submitted its COVID-19 booster shot for FDA approval this month. The shot would be administered six months after a person receives their second dose of its vaccine. And back with us, back with me, back with us is uh, nephro uh, nephrologist Dr. Frida Fisher. She's here to discuss this possible twin demic and what it means for you and your family. Always a pleasure having you. Um, I want to first talk to you about what I asked you before we went on break. Are you starting to feel a little burnout? I mean, I can't tell you always look gorgeous, Dr. Frida, but seriously, <laughs> like you. your spirit, I mean, seeing this craziness that's happening in our country, one of the wealthiest countries in the world, we have an abundance of vaccine, yet we still have millions of Americans refusing to use it. Let me tell you, Tishani, way back in December 2019, when we thought this was just a mystery pneumonia, I have been researching, I have been reading, and with every piece of education I get, I tried to spread the word. And in the beginning, especially once we got the vaccines and I was very excited, I thought that it would just be a matter of educating people, giving them the facts. But seeing now that, you know, as a health educator, as a physician, it's me versus social media disinformation, it does get frustrating sometimes. But I tell you what, every single day, I hear from patients, I hear from family members, I get DMs of people saying, you know what? I was scared of the vaccine, but after listening to you, I'm going to get it. And that's what keeps me holding on. I do believe that the nature of all mankind is good. And I believe that most people really do have intelligence and they want to do the right thing. It just takes patience. It takes truth. It takes facts. And so that's what keeps me from getting burned out. All right. We'll talk to those people right now since we're on that topic. I mean, because, you know, some of our folks, they are scarred by past medical experience, experiments, experiences, and they just don't trust this vaccine despite FDA full approval. So talk to them. And that's it. The first thing you have to do is acknowledge, yes, there has been medical mistreatment, not just in the past, but even right now, when you look at maternal mortality among black people, when you look at infant mortality among black children, it's going on right now. And so the first thing is to validate, yes, there are health disparities, there are health gaps. However, we cannot allow our tragic past to become our tragic future. Right now, black people and people of color are dying disproportionately from COVID-19. They're being hospitalized disproportionately. And if you look at the Miami-Dade story, where we saw that in the Miami-Dade school system, 13 staff members died within three weeks, all of them unvaccinated, according to their families, all of them were black. And then you look at the numbers and you see that only 30% of black people in the Miami-Dade County are vaccinated. There's a correlation. When there are low vaccine rates, low vaccination rates, you have high infection rates, which leads to high hospitalizations and deaths. And so, yes, I understand the mistrust. Yes, I understand the fear. Yes, I understand that it seems like the vaccine came out of nowhere, even though it didn't. The technology has been studied for years but we have to regain our power, study the truth, and listen to the physicians and the healthcare workers you trust. Get vaccinated. It's safe, it's effective, it is our way out of this pandemic. Yeah, heard from the true professional herself. All right, so now let's talk about this twin pandemic and what it means for uh, all of us. Last year, the U.S. saw an extremely low number of flu cases. So why is there a concern uh, this year about the flu and uh, COVID. This is why. And first of all, when you say twindemic, it sounds like some kind of apocalyptic movie where a bunch of crazed twins are going to attack everyone. It and feels like honestly, it though, Dr. Frida. It feels right? like it. 
The problem is that it's not a fantasy, that it very well can be a reality to Shani, and this is why. Last year, when we had the flu season, it really didn't happen because people were scared of COVID-19. They were locked away in their homes. Kids were in virtual schools. Businesses were closing. The sports and the stadiums were not open, and if they were open, they had very strict, strict rules as far as you know things to help to stop the spread of COVID-19. And so with all of those mitigation techniques to stop the spread of COVID-19, we did not see much flu, but guess what? People have let their hair down this year. Now we don't even have mask mandates in many of the schools. And we know that football season is back. The college sports are back. People are in stadiums, shoulder to shoulder, screaming with no masks and Delta Baron is sitting, it's sitting right there. The businesses have opened up. People are having their big weddings, their big concerts. And so now we very likely will see the flu. And if the flu pandemic, meets the COVID-19 pandemic, then that is one collision that can be catastrophic, oh, the twindemic. Okay, so I gotta ask you, um, <laughs> what does that look like for a person, especially an unvaccinated person, to have the flu and also have COVID? So when you have the flu, we believe that it can make you more susceptible because one of the complications of having influenza, having the flu, is pneumonia, that can be a complication. So imagine if you have the flu and then you also get infected with COVID-19 and you develop a COVID-19 pneumonia, well now your chances of being in the ICU, of being ventilated and of having many other complications just go up, up, up. Not to mention, we already have very limited hospital beds and limited ICU beds. If you start getting people in the hospitals with the flu, then quite honestly, Hospitals are going to be even more overwhelmed than they are now, and we are going to have to turn people around, and we're going to lose lives if that happens. And that's why it's very important for people to get vaccinated, not only against COVID-19, but also to take the flu vaccine. And the CDC has just made a recommendation that you can get the COVID-19 vaccine at the same time as the flu vaccine. You no longer have to wait 14 days. So please, people, take advantage of it. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm gonna throw um, a triple whammy at you. Considering okay. some of the issues that our people uh, suffer from, you know, heart disease, uh, obesity, diabetes, um, can you just talk to them, Dr. Frida, about the importance of just protecting themselves on all fronts, especially as we move into the colder uh, months? I'm glad you mentioned these comorbidities that especially black people suffer from at a higher rate than the rest of the population. Just because we had the pandemic, all of these other illnesses did not go away. We still have the diabetes, which is the number one cause of kidney failure, which is my specialty. We still have hypertension, which is a leading cause of heart disease, stroke. And now a lot of people are trying to avoid ERs, even if they're sick, even if they're having chest pain, even if they're having stroke symptoms because they don't want to get COVID-19. Well, guess what? These other illnesses can still cause major problems. They can still kill you. And so please make sure you see your primary care physician and so that you can prevent complications from these chronic conditions that you may already have and certainly get vaccinated and so that you can prevent getting COVID-19, prevent getting the flu. And so we can move forth and try to get out of this nightmare and dodge the twin pandemic. Yeah, nightmare indeed, except we are all awake. Dr. Frida Fisher, always a pleasure. Thank you so much and have a good weekend.